Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at applying the shadows and highlights adjustment in Adobe Photoshop as an adjustment layer. Now if you've looked at the adjustment layer menu with layer new adjustment layer you'll see that shadow highlights is not on that list. It is however on the image adjustments list. It's down here with HDR toning. Now the problem of applying it using an adjustment is that if you change your mind later on and want to edit it or remove it you won't be able to do it without winding back the entire image because these adjustments here that are applied using the image adjustments tools are baked into the image. So if you want to apply the shadows and highlights filter as an adjustment layer even though it's not on the menu this is what you're going to do. You're going to come over here to the image layer and you're going to right click and choose convert to smart object. Now as a smart object you can't bake changes into the image. This is not the way that smart objects work. So if we go back to image and adjustments you'll see that four of these options have been removed. They're not able to be selected because they would need to adjust the image but shadow highlights and HDR toning are still available. Let's click on shadows and highlights. Now what I want to do is to dial this down a little bit. If you don't see these options make sure to select show more options because you kind of want to see the options that are available to you. I'm going to crunch this up a little bit. I want it to be a little bit sharper, a bit more colourful, so I'm just going to click OK. And this has now been applied as a smart filter even though it was never available from the adjustment layers menu. Now you can remove it by just hiding it or you could actually delete the smart filters but we could also double click on this to get back to this option and make some more changes. So if we didn't want to bring all the detail out of the shadows we could bring our shadows back, click OK. It's fully editable, fully removable, behaving just like a regular adjustment layer in Photoshop. Now that's going to be the same also for the HDR toning. If you want to use that you can do exactly the same thing. So there's a nice simple and practical way of using shadows and highlights as an adjustment layer in Adobe Photoshop. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.